Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos, ECTV, and uh, YouTube gave you my, uh, my, uh, um, what is the, my website or my uh, YouTube site as Eric Clark Travel Videos, which is really kind of cool. So you can do a search on that and it should find me. Anyway, this is where we're going, Molebrook Castle. Uh, it's like the largest in Europe. Let's go look. It's amazing. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. I took the train maybe 45 minutes to an hour um southeast to a little town called Molebrook. Mol Molebrook? Mol Molebrook broke. Mol anyway, what it is is it's a castle. And I think if I understand things right, it's like the largest castle um in all of Europe. But it is simply amazing. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, this is phenomenal, huh? Okay, well, let's go inside, shall we? Okay, bye. Okay, everybody. So this is the entrance to Malbork Castle. Malbrook, Malbork, Malbork, I think is the name of the castle. And it looks like this. And I think that's the church here. And then the battery thing over this way. So that's how it's spelled. Mal Malbork. Malborku. Malbork. And it is amazing. And it is huge. <clears throat> Very cool. Uh, that's the museum. Where do you get tickets? Tickets this way. Okay. Let me just show you this so you can see. Pretty amazing, huh? Wow. Wow. Phenomenal. Okay, let's get a ticket and go inside. Bye. Okay, everybody, this time I was smart. I grabbed the, the pamphlet first so you can see it. Malbork Castle, tourist information. And it has the website down there too, so you can see it if you want to look it up or something. And then let's turn the pages together. So that's what the whole thing looks like. This huge place. And here are all the things. So I'll let you just go through and read those so you can go do your lining up and find what you want. Cool. Got all that. So the high castle is A. That's one that looks like a church, St. Mary's Church, the middle castle. So here we go. So we want to see for sure A, which is the high castle, and B, which is St. Mary's Church, and C, which is the middle castle. Pretty amazing. And then here's some information for you. The watchtower, I'll try to get it as close to this as I can. The night tour. And the light and sound show. Okay. Very cool, everybody. Okay. Let's go look at this place. <clears throat> First, we gotta see the moat. If you're gonna storm the castle, you gotta you gotta get past the moat first, right? So 
So imagine that being filled with water. Isn't that incredible? Amazingly, wow, wow. <laughs> I can't imagine building these kind of things. And that we don't do it anymore. I think that's kind of kind of crazy. But I guess it's not efficient. I guess it's not easy. <laughs> it's not made out of wood. This is the guy with the ticket here. Nope. Huge. And I think that I read that it was really the largest castle, and I want to say well, yeah, maybe not the world, maybe in Europe, and maybe they really, it's one of those things that they probably classify it as the largest brick castle or the largest castle built by, um, in Poland or something, but, wow, they really bombed it during the war, didn't they? Wow. Wow. All right. And I think they do shows here. Look at all the bleachers over there. You see them really low. Probably goes all the way around, huh? Or at least this side does light shows and stuff. And more moat. And more walls. Yeah. Amazing. Wow, wow. Okay. And the drawbridge, or not drawbridge, the, what do they call those things that come down? That thing. <laughs> Gate, I guess, huh? Wow. I'm getting on the smoother stuff. Oh, those cobblestones are rough. And I think we go in over here through that tunnel, and then we have the whole castle. And more moat. So that must have been the drawbridge right there. I mean, the real drawbridge. Yes. Uh, audio? No. Just winging it. <laughs> Just pictures. <laughs> Thank you. Dziękuję. Okay. Dzień dobry. stuff will teach you something. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, look at this gate. So it's got a little door so people could come in and go, but this is, hiya. And another collapsible thing. Here, I'll get out of your way. Did you guys know we joined a tour? <laughs> yeah, everybody knocks on the doors, huh? You keep on knocking, but you can't come me. Okay. Okay, let's get out of this group here. Sorry about that glare. This camera doesn't deal with the light very well. Wow. Is this like the lower castle here? And then if we go through that arch, it should take us to the cathedral in the upper castle. Some slippery stuff too, I'll tell you. Another drawbridge. Ah. Maybe this is where the fighters would practice and this is where they'd secure that wall. Pretty cool. Wow. Wow. Do the way. Get on the smooth stuff here. So this must be their well, huh? Very cool. And it's all brick. But 
There's a lot of stuff underneath this castle too, you know what I mean? It is big. What's this way? Stairs up. Where do the stairs go? Oh, they probably take you to that second layer here. All the way around. Huh. Very cool. I bet there are secrets here. Great door, too. Goes. Okay. The kids are coming. And more frescoes. And the king's chair. <laughs> Look at this door. That's a great door too, by the way. Let me get to the back of the very room and we'll Make sure we capture it. The floor is amazing too. Wow. Wow. Very, very cool. Look at the lock, too. Wow. Okay.
cute pigeon too. Wow. So here's a trick for you. If you have an iPhone that has those, uh, like the zoom out kind of thing, like if I zoom out like this, you can get both hallways um, at one time. Can you see that? It's pretty cool. It makes a good picture. Okay, let's move on. When I'm done doing videos, I'll come back. And this says mass required. Is this open? It is open. Oh, it's like a room of some kind. Somebody's room, a priest's room. this here on the door. It's like a human face, but an animal body. Huh. Interesting. Tsunobe. Wow. What is this room? English? No. Okay. Mosaics too, still on the walls. And look at the bottom of the. dinner table. Look at the tile on the floor. Oh, and that's really cute too. Huh. And it tells you what they are in Polish. So if somebody that watches this is in can speak Polish, let us know. And look at that door too. Wow. Those kids are coming. <laughs> I hear them. Oh, and there's the bed. Can you imagine that bed? And then I went to one castle one time and the beds were all really short. Like this one, obviously, nobody could really, I mean, unless you were three foot five or something, you'd be too tall. But they had the, the flu or something, or they, they had visions that if they laid down or something, I can't remember the whole story, that they think they would die. So they all slept sitting up. Hence the short beds. This door opens and we leave. Ah, it's a different kind of mechanism. It's a left. Oh, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> okay, I'll move on. I bet this was gorgeous in its prime. All the frescoes in there and all the color. I mean, if they do their floors this way. Wow. 
Somebody must be hurt. Uh oh. EMTs. Hmm. Wow, what's this way? Stay away from trouble. Boy, that's just not like Eric, is it? <laughs> Cool hallway. Toilets, gotcha. So those are the toilets of old. And I went to one castle where the, all the toilets they had like four of them side by side. They all hung, hung over the edge of the castle. So when they went potty, it just ran down the side of the, the castle wall and hit the ground below. I bet that was a little stinky. The Dangster also functioned as a defensive structure in the case of a siege is flanked by main structures of the castle towers of flank, uh, sometimes were destined to be so-called refugia or a place of final defense in the scenario of the remainder of the forces falling into enemy hands for the purpose of blah, blah, blah. Okay. During the 13th century and during the 14th century, sanitary and defensive towers. Sanitary and defensive. That's right. Uh, this kind were built in numbers of fortresses and the territory in order to stay outside the monarch. Okay. Uh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you know, we had to walk down that long hall. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's a long hall. I saw a sign up here at the Hall of Smells. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Eric, you're so funny. This is the museum and history of the castle, I guess. Wow. Look at the barrel on that bad boy. Huh. I don't know that I'd want to be firing that one.
need an official reader. Can you read that right there? Medical Council of the Stewards of Mulberry, Gerard Denhoff, 19, or 1642. Um, National Museum of Krakow, the Prince Library reference, blah, blah, blah. Wow. 1642. Now we've got that other tour. More guns. Look at that one, boy. That's a monster. Do this one. Look at the great frescoes too. All right, Scott, I'm always looking for your coin. Huh. A church? Thank you, thank you. Tinkuya. Church. I guess we're following the kids. Or is this more museum? What's this way? Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow. That's a big cabinet there. And then again, the floors are just staggering. You know, you could spill spaghetti all over this floor and not find it. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. Thank you. Cinquia. Wow. Let's 
see now they left the, they put glass. You can't tell, can you? Can you see the glass? So you can see it reflecting this light right here. But underneath this glass is the original floor. And it looks just like all those other floors, which is kind of cool. Mosaic? No. Something. Oh, maybe that was the original picture inside of that frame. Yeah, maybe. What's this little thing say over here? Um, local workshop, late 18th century, wood, metal, furious, wood carving, Marlborough Castle Museum inventory, blah, blah, blah. Frame section with a reproduction of Madonna of humility painting. Okay. Get down. That's amazing. Very cool. You can't see the floor, it's too dark. This camera doesn't do the the dark stuff as well. Wooden pulpit of the 1672. Ribbons and uh, sculptures, okay. How you doing? America. <laughs> they just look at you, they don't know. What'd she say? Who did this? And it tells us Christ in Gethsemane. So this is Bohemian 1390. Very cool, very cool. What does this say? 
Can you read it with the glare? I'll try to get it to where you can read it. not just browns and grays and blacks and but real pinks and bright greens and yellows and very cool very cool okay everybody i think that is just about everything. Unless there's more down here. Oh, here's an open door. Where does this one go? Or is this one I already did? Yes. That's where I started. Okay. I guess we'll go down these stairs. Do you, do you speak English? So we've done the church and the square. What else is there to see? Um, the castle on the outside? No. Uh, outside is uh, so is so. So um, uh, have you been like in this um, in this area? No, uh, right in here. Yeah, yeah. You should see, you should, you should see uh, that. Okay, I'll and go look. Every, every, every single door should be uh, open, uh, like these. And no. Oh, so this is a magazine. Down there. Yeah, down there. Okay, okay, thank you. Jinkuya. Didn't I come through here? I might have. Oh, I see what he's saying. I see where the, the cannons were, and we talked about them guarding the fort and stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, I think we did that. I think the only thing... I think that's it. Boy, the weather really changed quickly, didn't it? Okay, everybody, I won't uh, turn this into a two-hour video, but uh, you know, I love the tree in the middle, too. I think that's kind of amazing. Very cool. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Bye, everybody.